Hey guys, Shane Williams here, and I want to tell you about Insta product. This is something very, very cool. The reason why I like it is because I'm uh, not the greatest guy with uh, all the technical advancements and learning new things. I like to, I like to experiment and figure things out on my own. But if something can be simpler, then I'm obviously going to use it, and so is anybody else. Um, I have been slacking on getting my ebook stuff done, uh, whether it's you know just just simple PDF stuff or getting stuff on Kindle. All this I, I've done some stuff here and there, but if it involves too many too many uh, steps to get it done, then it usually goes on the back burner, and I don't like doing stuff that way. I have been able to find something that is going to ramp up my production big time because it's just it's too simple not to use it you, you gotta do a couple of things to get it set up um, like you, you're gonna want it on a specific site because it's going to uh, lead back to that site but I'll explain that in a second uh, what this is is it's called Insta Product, and I'm not gonna bother playing the video for you you can see it uh, see it on your own right here what this does right here you can look along with me ebooks generation made easy um, they've got four different formats that it's going to put it onto PDF, DOC, EPUB, and Mobi. Uh, so this is for uh, the EPUB is for other book publishing sites. Mobi's for Kindle, uh, DOC, Doc. You're going to be able to edit, and PDF. It's ebook quality, ready to go. Um, so this is a plugin that goes onto your WordPress site, and it can take whatever material you have on your WordPress site and immediately put it into one of those formats so you can build your your whole ebook um, or PDF right on your website and however it looks on there that's how it's gonna publish it it's very very cool um, let's see is there anything else I want to point out on their sales page right here well K Kindle's huge right now there's no doubt about that that's just that's just one uh, platform but if you can be able to get your material produce quickly and then just go right to Kindle with this then I mean why would you not do it Kindle is hot right now it is hot 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 so best way to show this to you is just to jump into an example I'm doing this live there's no editing so if I screw up on something then uh, oh well we'll just get through it so here's here's a, one of my sites uh, here's an old post up here up on the top and I'm gonna turn that into a PDF so I'm over here on in the dashboard and I just installed the plugin and let's find it over here insta product let's open that up okay now here's how this goes I'm not going to do every single detail on here just so that we can get through the example but uh, here's how you set it up restriction dates no, um, I'm going to have this go for anything. If you want to target a specific date that you want to take the material from the site, then you could do that in here. And you could just have it for that day. So it'll pull that post from that day. If you want to restrict to an author, if you have uh, guest, guest bloggers on a site that you want to turn that blog post into a PDF, you could. Uh, you know, if they're, if they're a registered user. Uh, restrict content. Uh, let's do, you know, you could do all types. I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do posts and restrict category. I have a bunch of categories on here, and for this one post right here, this uh, SOPA peep, uh, PIPA issue, I want to just turn that into a PDF. So I created a category just for that post, and here it is on current affairs. Restrict status. Um, no, it's uh, it's published. Okay, so current affairs post. It's just going to pull that category. At least it should. And uh, export post date. It can put the date on it, but we don't need it to. Author. Um, just slap my name on it right here. Title. Let's go. Uh, whoops. Okay, 
header string. Header string is uh, something that it can put on the top of every single one of the pages. So, um, so we could just put put a title right there. Um, now the advertisement, this is going to be on the cover page and you can have this advertisement show up on the first or the last page. Um, I'm not going to put anything right now. It, this isn't major important. It'll just be on your first page. So you, you have your WYSIWYG editor right here. Full kitchen sink. So you can put a uh, big flashy title. You can upload an image. You can have anything that you want for your, your front page advertisement and it would show up there. But just for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do all that. You know how to edit a post and how to create a post. You should. So you can put anything you want in there. Um, type of, yeah, let's do a PDF. Okay, now I'm going to hit export file. says export complete so then here's here's the PDF no matter which format you put it in it's going to show it right here so it's you're gonna keep um, keep a record of all your stuff right here so I'm gonna right click and hit save link as okay uh, that's in the WSO section let's go to documents and I'm going to call this let's call this the SOPA PIPA uh, PDF test save we just downloaded that now let's open and cross my fingers that this worked. <laughs> Didn't run into any hiccups on the way. Okay, right here. All right, so this page obviously isn't uh, isn't too exciting. I've got my uh, counter in the way. That's let me push that out. Okay, let's put this at 100% so we can see this a little bit easier. If I would have put more of a, done more on the advertisement, then it would have shown up here. But now let's scroll down through these pages. Here, see, it's in, it's including the images. Another option is if you think that there's anything funky that shows up, then you can always um, put that into, a, you can always uh, export it as a DOC, and then that's going to give you full customization over being able to edit it. So that was, that was just a regular small post, and you can see that it went ahead and it stuck it into a PDF. So if you think, look, it, it includes the links in it. Because I had I had links on there and included the image like this this thing kind of showed up oh okay I see what this is the reason why it did this here is because this was a short code so um, it's probably not going to uh, export short codes properly because uh, see the power press right here this was for an MP3 recording so it's not going to stick that into the PDF. So just go through your post, you know, if you have like a video on the page or a short code like this was for an MP3 recording, then go ahead and take that out before you put it into a PDF format. But that was just a really, really short, quick example of, uh, of uh, putting something into a PDF format. So what you can do is you can build a full ebook on a on a WordPress poster page 
just have it go down include your images include links if you need to and it's going to format it into a PDF like I said if you want even more customization control besides what it just spits out then go ahead and do it into a DOC format and then you can edit that and then you can take that and and uh, turn that into a PDF but that was a quick test you saw how quick it spit it out and <laughs> that is just awesome that is just awesome so I can redo the same thing right now if that was a full thing and I can export it again and this time I, I could pick any one of these other ones so you know Moby I could have it just go straight to being ready for a Kindle book this is super cool uh, WordPress plugin does everything for you I don't have to mess with any other software um, anything else besides on the WordPress site now what's cool let me see if I uh, me pull this back up see right here it's gonna automatically include the link to your site because it's also meant to drive traffic back to your site so you kinda wanna make sure that you install this plugin on a blog that's pertaining to the same subject like say if you're putting out an ebook on a niche subject like god I hate this example but it always comes to mind I don't I don't do this niche myself it just seems beat to death but dog training <laughs> say, say if you had a uh, if you were putting out an uh, ebook on dog training, then you would obviously want to install this plugin on the dog training site because it's going to include that link right there and it's going to drive traffic back to the dog training site. And then you can take this PDF and use it to build your list anywhere. You can just you can just distribute it freely. Anybody who gets this is going to you're going to have links coming back to your site. So whether whether you're putting out PDFs to sell whether you're using them as a, a bonus item to build your list, whether you're using this to get books on Kindle, super cool. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. I'm uh, I love this. I would have picked it up at any price. At any price. Seriously, with how much hassle it's going to save me. So, I hope you like the demo. Uh, I wanted to make sure that you guys saw that it worked, that there was no errors with it. Um, I always buy and use what I recommend. So that's it. Check out Insta product, and I'm sure you're going to be able to find a use for it, and it's going to help make things a lot easier for you. Pick it up through the link on this page while it's still available. Alrighty, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next recommendation.